Here's the beginning of a few days worth of me doing a little bit here and there. Um, I'm working in my workshop, repairing machines. Uh, but this showed up, so I figured I might as well do a quick... Since everybody seems to like unboxing stuff, and first impression stuff, I don't know. let's find out. That bow from AF Archery showed up today. This is the Turkish short bow. It's supposed to be a short, 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 short bow. So we will unpack it. Let's see what it looks like. Okay. Well, I taped it in the middle here. My dogs are. My dogs are all anxious and because the postman was here, so they had somebody to bark at. You know how that goes. Bark, 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 bark. All right, puppies. Twenty-eight at thirty. So that should give me uh, about thirty-five, thirty-six at thirty-one. I'll measure it probably at a later date. I don't really have time to go into that right now. Just want to do something quickly. Oh, nice leather and a little bit of shark skin. No, nope, actually, that's not shark skin. That's leather. I'm just going to come close and see. I don't know how this is going to turn out. Um, their logo. And a couple of new raised uh, letters, or pardon me, symbols. I don't understand what it means, but it's kind of cool. Very nice finish. I like the wood. There's the ash sias. And then there, I've, I've always liked how they do their tips. I actually, actually really like how they do their tips. But there's the ash sia, and then here. And then they got the bamboo. The ash and the handle and the riser. Um, then we got a mark here. That's very nice. I like that. I wonder what wood that is. You know what? I bet you. It's that. Um, I'll have to look up how to pronounce it, but it's a very nice bolia wood or something like that. That looks a lot like. The wood here on my. Oh, there goes my phone. And it's my wife. Okay. Yeah, I was. My wife phoned. Um, should turn these things off. There's a little bit of stain work here underneath the leather, the leather wrapping that they have. And actually, that feels kind of nice. Yeah, I'm. I'm happy with that. I'm gonna string it. Oh, actually, before I string it, I should do some things, shouldn't I? Like, um, measure it. I should measure it, because the, the reason why I ordered this bow is because the other bows weren't exactly what they said they were. They were 54 inches unstrung, and a Turkish bow is quite a bit shorter, actually. Just making sure that my camera is staying in focus here. So, hopefully... We'll find out in a moment how long this is. All right. And, oh. okay, you know what? There's more than one way to skin this particular cat. And no, I don't skin cats. I'm a dog person, but it doesn't mean I hate cats. Go see Isla Dog. 
love dogs. Wes Anderson is a brilliant person. <laughs> so, this one is 51 inches unstrung. So, I don't think it's... Still three inches shorter than the last time. So let's string her up and see if we get to the 47 inches strung. The should be about right because the string will be about five inches shorter. So we actually no, it actually should probably get to that 47 inches strung, which is what I want. So we will set this here for the moment. While I double check the string, I gotta get back to work here because I got lots of stuff to get done today. I'm way behind in my shop. Oh wow. This string's a lot shorter than I expect it to be. It's 45 inches. I'm kind of worried about stringing it now. Should be about 5 inch difference, not 6 inch difference. Hmm. We'll see. Well, it could be right. It's got to have a 17 inch brace height when I'm, or 17 centimeters, so that's, um, what's that, 7 inches? 7 and a bit. So we'll see right away what it gives me. Now, I'm not going to twist the string or nothing. I'm just going to put it on. Okay. Good enough for now. I'm not doing anything with it. Okay. Let's see what the brace height is. Okay. Yeah, I actually have to twist it. I have to increase the brace height a little bit there. So I will flip the stringer on while I'm at it then. Okay. All right. And I'll twist the string a bit. That's pretty good, guys. Six inch difference in string. That's... I, don't, I haven't seen a lot of bows with that difference. But... This is also the first really short. This is the shortest bow I own at the moment. Uh, just a touch more. Just a touch more. Yep. Okay, perfect. I went with the 7 centimeter brace height reference. Hmm, not bad. My wife will be home shortly. So better do this quick. She doesn't know I have a new toy. Seven inches strong. Daddy with a new toy. Forty-seven inches strong. Perfect. That's what I was looking for. Forty-seven inches strong. I like that. I like that a lot. Okay, now let's test. Uh, there's no way this thing's getting to 32. Not a hope. It stops right there. So, 34 pounds. Um, that's, I got to the end of this piece of tape. So it's 29 and a half. Oh, a little bit past that. So I'll say 30. There's no way this is getting to a 30 inch draw. Yeah, and the same draw weight. There's no way. It's supposed to go to 32. That's not going to happen. I don't see that happening. Well, that got to almost 30. Because these arrows are 31. There's at least an inch left on my thumb. Snappy though. Very snappy. I look forward to speed testing it. 
very snappy. Very, very, very snappy. Hmm. You know what? I still like this thing. I'm a little disappointed it doesn't get the 32, uh, but I'm still. It's it's pretty. It's it's very snappy. We'll see. I got more testing to do, so I'll pull it all together. Okay. Hi guys. Listen. You know, earlier when I was doing the unboxing of this, it's a few hours ago. Um, I pulled it. And it just it it stopped at 29. Wow. Guess what? It's been strung for I don't know about three four hours. I've I don't know. I've lost track. I, but I've loosed a whole bunch of arrows into my blank butt just down there. And guess what? I can get up to 31 now. So it just needed to break in a little bit. So we are getting. At 31, which is this, this little flag here, um, thirty-eight. Thirty-eight at thirty-one. Do that again. Let's get an average here. And, okay, that one was thirty-seven. So we'll say thirty-seven and a half at thirty-one. Now, I still haven't, um, well, I haven't crawled nothing because I, well, I haven't got it today. I mean, I haven't even put a knock point, I haven't even waxed the string yet. Uh, but I have loosed a whole bunch of arrows just because eh, I'm excited with the new toy, right? And um, so it's very snappy. And yes, it can go, it can go up the distance that we're, that, um, that, there's, that they claim. I'm pretty confident it'll get the 32 inches. It's really snappy, guys. Very snappy. I'm really looking forward to chronoing it. This, by the way, is the other style of Turkish bow that they do. This is the Turkish style. The, uh, the, the this is the black laminate one, and then of course we have the rosewood one, which I haven't strung. That's here, you know, these, this came in the same bag. That's up here. I haven't strung it. I just I strung this one so I could show the difference in the length. This one's much much shorter. You know, just like it's supposed to be. And here's the part that just I really liked. I really really like this, guys. Listen to the sound. Right? Now, listen to the sound of this one. I'm really happy with the string that they supplied. Uh, I accept that the, uh, the strings they had on this one was, were, are acceptable. But uh, I'm really liking the string they have on this one. I'm really liking it. I have to inquire in here, inquire what material they actually used. I'm pretty sure this is Dacron. And I'm pretty sure this is Fast Flight. But, listen to that. Nice. And it's actually already backed off a little bit. I have to, I'll have to string and stretch a bit. So I'll have to twist it just a touch more to get it up to the uh, brace height. This is a 28 inch aluminum arrow, just because I feel like it. <laughs> Very fast. I'm looking forward to Corona away and seeing how fast it is. That'll be with much larger. I'll be using the X Busters again just because I want to keep it consistent so I can say, okay, this bow, this bow, this bow, and this is the differences. And I'll follow the same methodology of shooting 10 so that I get an average. Um, but otherwise, it's it's. Very promising looking, my friends. Very promising looking. And uh, to the guys at the factory, at the AF Archery Factory, I like it, guys. I mean, I'm being a little enthusiastic because I've only had the thing for four or five. Oh, six hours now. I've had it for a whole, whole six hours. 
but it's snappy. Let's see what it's like after a couple thousand arrows. Uh, I'm excited to see how fast this thing is. I really am. Thank you.